Hello! Stickosaurus here, and sorry for the weird intro today, but I started this helmet a very, very, very long time ago, and I lost the intro footage for it in a little bit at the beginning, but I think it's still worth it. We are going to be replacing the Tokyo 4 helmet here, Tokyo Green. Now, this is an old Pepecora conversion, I think, maybe. I don't remember. It's a hot mess. It's been sitting on my shelf forever, and it needs to go. So we are going to print a new one. I did print this a long time ago, so it wasn't as nice as I would have liked it, but I think you'll like how it turns out in the end. So let's get to it. So this probably needs to sand it a little more, but it's from a long time ago before I started uh, thinning out my glazing putty. So it's really thick in some spots. So we just put some primer on it, we'll do a whole coat of glazing putty on it, and then we'll get it better looking. Finally gonna put some paint on this. I think we're gonna do black, silver, and then the green. I think it's gonna work the best. I'm gonna try something different for the train tracks, but we'll see. Okay, it's a weird play doing the silver next, but I think I think it's a I think it's a shot. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. This is the first Tokyo I'm doing. This is I actually started like making okay looking helmets. So floating process, we got four more shots, but figure this out. Right, we got this mask. I'm a little unhappy with our sanding job on it, but this was a hold up from a long time ago. I think I'm gonna, I'm trying different things with these two futures I'm working on. Uh, they're all over there, hi. So hopefully we learn from our mistakes, but we're gonna see if masking the silver even works before we get too carried away with them. We're gonna put some spring green on here. I think it really brings the color together. Uh, then I'm also gonna trace and vinyl cut the four, I believe, for the head. And I think we'll be close to finished then, hopefully. So that's the plan. So keep at it. This is okay. We're gonna do some touch-ups on it. Yeah, we got a little bit of overspray and stuff. I also cut these out of vinyl last night. They're like chrome vinyl that I think I'm gonna put across like this on these, at least on the long way ones, and, and see how it looks. I think it should work. Uh, and if you look at the real helmets, uh, I noticed when watching Tokyo, this is definitely like, they're like two different tones. This is like chrome across, and then this is just silver. So we're kind of trying to replicate. Uh, it's kind of annoying I couldn't print them long, cut them long enough to, you know, do one whole wrap. But I think we should be able to get pretty close. And, you know, spice it here or something. This won't be as noticeable. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. If it looks terrible, we'll just take it off. And, redo something not a big deal but uh, we're gonna do touch-ups put this on do the detail lines i'm gonna measure this up here um put it in photoshop trace the four put it down on vinyl put it on there uh, but other than that i think that's the plan so let's get to the touch-ups All cleared up here. We're gonna get the visor, elastic, and magnets in, and then we'll get to the spinner round.
beautiful stunning i love it i love it it could be a tiny bit better again this is like my first <laughs> modern tokyo helmet i learned a lot i think the vinyl on the tracks is awesome i really like it i think it's the best way i can get chrome right now i don't think i could get any better and i think it's i think it's a valid option but i think this turned out wonderfully i hope you enjoyed this kind of wild build we do need to work on sanding in between the tracks a little bit better on the next one's coming because so this was an older one it didn't print as well as i would have liked and now i see you know as i'm working more tokyo helmets i see the weaknesses and what we got to focus on but i think this is a huge step up from this monstrosity uh, this is actually pretty big too <laughs> i hope you can see the difference i'm sure you can uh, this is smooth this has polygons so <laughs> it's a hot mess at least i painted it right back then again this is probably three years old uh, we come a long way we've come a long way and hopefully we can only go up i believe we should be able to <laughs> but you never know you never know so this going off the shelf finally getting rid of it we're going to replace it with this beauty I'm very happy with this like i said a couple places we could have sanded better but you know as a trial run for just Tokyo helmets in general doing the visors uh, the vinyl all kinds of stuff very happy with this very happy with this uh, and also the vinyl for the number i thought that was a nice little thing we experimented with and i think it turned out very well and we're gonna do that for the rest of our Tokyo helmets for sure uh, i thought about putting like a piece of clear plastic over it because it kind of looks like they are covered i know one definitely is not sure we'll see how the rest of them go we're currently working on red and blue and I have plans for yellow and pink very soon because I just finished Tokyo last month. And it's an amazing series. Please check it out. I know a lot of people hate on it because it's trains for some reason and the imagination, but it's worth it. It's so good. Can't recommend it enough. But I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at StickSource. Facebook at StickSource Clips and Props. Down in the link tree, you will find the Patreon where we're doing community builds over there, behind the scenes stuff exclusive videos, files, you name it, it's over there. Check out the Discord, come hang out with fellow Toku fans, or just 3D printing fans, there's all kinds of stuff over there. Come hang out, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, we have watch parties and stuff, it's fun over there. And also check out the merch store, we'll get some awesome shirts now. Uh, hopefully you enjoy them. And we have our old shirts too, which are really cool. And also in the description, you can find a link to k20 customs etsy store if you're interested in any of the patches you see on my apron throughout the videos use my code kr stronger or the link to get 50 percent off your order and pick up some awesome patches can't recommend enough i have an unboxing video if you want to check them out and see the quality but other than that thanks for watching i'll see you at the next station Imagination.